Now we're going to create a vendor provide a footprint. This is just another way of uh, getting a footprint. There's a lot of footprint sources out there, a lot of users. I don't tend to trust them because I've been burned that way, but if you get one that's provided by the vendor, you can usually be safe. So we're going to use the Ultra Librarian link that is uh, through the DigiKey. So if we go to our bomb, go to the item, click EDA CAD Library Ultra Librarian. Of course, you have to have an account to log in. Download the Eagle CAD version, and it'll download just like this. So now uh, we need to extract it. I'm going to go ahead and move it to the same location as my Eagle CAD library for this project. And now I'll drop it in here and then extract it. And this isn't the actual part. The way it works is it's a script. And uh, we'll have to move into Eagle to run that script. And the way you do that is go to File, Execute Script. I'm going to browse for it. It's in the same location where I just downloaded it. And here it is. Double clicking on this will actually uh, run it for you. And this is the device which combines the footprint and the schematic but we can edit that and I'm going to show that in another video but uh, let's just go to the footprint and this is what we got you can see uh, they probably have some automated process that does it and they kind of dump the name right on there so I'm going to select uh, filter just for text and move this out also you'll notice it's not all caps and that's going to be a problem because my other footprints are all caps and my, my symbols so just to ensure that's going to connect, uh, when they, you connect this with our symbol, it wants to see the name written the exact same way. And so uh, i got to make it all caps. And make this one all caps. Um, they also add a dot for pin one. That's pretty standard for uh, for silicon devices and larger packages. But for this, I think it's ridiculous. So uh, it really doesn't matter. You can only solder this one way, and it's always going to be right. So I don't I don't need that either. And then for my package keep out, I'm going to use Polygon, but uh, I'm going to give me a little more detail here. And the idea is this doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, this is not going to make its way to PCB. This is to make sure I don't accidentally put a, another device on top of this device's footprint. It's going to give me a warning. So I'm just going to get as close to the, the area as I can and just eyeball it here. Uh, nothing exact. If you forget to do this step, it honestly probably won't become a problem. Uh, this is for when you get that PCB with a, a large number of devices. You will make a mistake. You'll send something to Fab House. They'll catch it. It'll delay the, the fabrication of your PCB. And uh, the boss man won't be happy. So this is just one of those ways that ensuring that you are going to pay attention to detail later. So now I save this. and it gave me a battery symbol of course you don't have to connect it to that symbol I can connect it to the symbol I have which I'll do later and if you notice on the battery symbol we made it's got three pins which is good because this uh, battery retainer clip also has three pins two of those pins are connected both to positive and the other pin uh, would be the, the actual PCB copper pour and that's your negative but we uh, because it has three pins, we have to make sure the symbol has three pins. You just can't leave something unconnected. And our footprint will also have three pins. Now I'll just show you real quick. This is a device, and we're going to go through this later, so I won't waste any time with this right now. And that is how you uh, use a vendor-provided footprint.